Uh, for me, Fusion uh, does a lot of good things for, for the, the role and the job that I play as a nutritionist. Um, it, it, it brings a lot of uh, very user-friendly things for me as far as pulling data, as far as changing rations, as far as changing dry matters, um, and, and a lot of quality control aspects. Uh, so I'm just going to run through uh, a few of the things that I, I like to look at and, and, and some of the reporting and, 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 and stuff like that that I, I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in my position. Um, I don't have an iPad uh, or, or sort gates to talk about, but uh, if there's any questions, please please ask. So, so um, in, in my role, like I said, uh, things that I really like for Infusion um, that maybe I don't get a get a deal with it in some of the other software programs out there is, is we can enter rations on a dry matter basis. So it takes a lot of the error out of, of entering rations on an as is basis, right? Um, that, that some of the other programs have. And then, and then uh, another nice feature is, is we call feed on a dry matter basis. Um, there and again, taking a lot of the error out of, out of a lot of these bunk reader systems. So um, another thing that I really like is, is I'm a data junkie, so we can pull data out of reports quite easily into Excel, and then we can manipulate that data to where we want to look at it or, or how we want to summarize that data, right? And I'll show you some of that. And then uh, what also another thing that I love about it is, is we can pull any sort of piece of data we want on any closed lots. Uh, maybe you have a, a lot that didn't do so well, so you want to go back to that data and, and, and see where, where, where we went wrong, right? So, and then the, the, the beautiful thing from a CFI standpoint is complete traceability. If you have a trace back for rack topamine or whatever, we can go back and, and look at that uh, the day that that animal shipped or, or whatever, right? So, um, so in, in dry matters or, or moistures of our ingredients, um, in our yards, we, we do like to do dry matters quite often. And, and we use this bulk attribute change window quite a bit, um, changing dry matters. I don't know if, how familiar everybody is, is with that. Huh? The majority of people here use the bulk attribute change. Windows, yes, okay, good, good, good. I, I think it's, it's critically important that we keep a, a good wrap on moistures because if you don't, that then you know dry matter intakes is really a, a incorrect number. Um, feed conversions can be off, cost gains can be off, right? You could be billing too much or too little for silage. And uh, being it's so easy to, to change dry matters, I, I think it gets done more often uh, th than if it would be hard, harder to do. So um, it's, I really like this window. Uh, another piece of... of uh, thing I think Fusion does a great job is, is, is projecting weights. And uh, if you can, on the lot center, um, uh, you, can, you can set your weight gain, uh, how it calculates your weights right here as you can use these 90, 1996 NRC equations. Uh, you can do a specified gain per day or, or uh, specified feed conversions. Uh, these 90, 1996 NRC equations, they do a very nice job when you know, when you have uh, correct uh, energy values of, of your ingredients in your bulk, bulk attribute change windows, right? Um, and then this, this mature weight, it also ca it uses this mature weight. Uh, this is, not the weight that you want to slaughter those animals at, but it's, it's more or less a, uh, um, it's a weight at a, at a, at a certain body fat. So it's, it's how these, if you go in the documentation, they, ha they have some specified weights for, for some different uh, classes of cattle. If, if you wanted to change that to make your weights more accurate, uh, you could use some, some of these different values. Um, so fusion reports, uh, on some of my feedlot visits, I, I sometimes get the comments uh, that some people don't like the fusion reporting system, that it's cumbersome, it's hard to do, it's hard to build your reports. 
I personally think it's the opposite. Um, I like the fusion reporting system because it's, it's flexible, it's adaptable. Um, you can make your canned reports if you want them, and you can change them readily. Uh, and some of my other software programs that I deal with, I get this, this booklet of these are the reports you can have, and if you want it, we'll put it on your computer two weeks later, right? Well, I, I need the data now. So that's, that's why I like uh, the reporting system uh, in Fusion. Um, I don't know how much people know about child windows. How many people here use child or, or have to use child Okay, so we'll go with Okay, okay. So, so uh, one thing I like to look at, uh, at uh, on some of the yards is, is uh, how well we're loading ingredients, right? So, so uh, I use child windows for this, and, and uh, so this is the load, in, load, loads list. So I, when I go to a yard, I, I usually look at uh, the last two weeks worth of loads, so whatever will highlight some. And then uh, you can go into this open child window. So what that does, and I, and I usually go to this load ingredient list. Uh, so what that does is it pulls um, those loads that we were, that I had highlighted and look and, and pulls up what was actually loaded for those loads. So it, it links these two windows based off of load number ice on, on this category. But you can use that for, for cattle like out cohorts. Let's say we have a, a, a BRD death and we want to see how many times we treated it. We could select that current animal and then go into a child window and go to treatments, right? And vice versa. So, so a very nice, nice handy tool to go in between uh, list and fusion. Um, and I assume we we all know how to build reports, right? So. Uh, and what I like to do when, when we, when I build report, when I, uh, so this is a report that I build. Um, so I, this is some of that accuracy data. And this is what I like about Fusion Reports is, is I can copy that, put it into Excel with, with little ease. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's in a format that, that, that I can take this data in Excel run it through some Excel formulas or some pivot tables in Excel. Uh, Excel is a very powerful program and, and you can come out with summarized data quite easily. Uh, you can edit data in Excel uh, quite easily as well and, and get some loading accuracy summarized or, or vice or anything and everything. So um, that's how I use it on a daily basis. There's, there's a lot of nice features that, that make my job easier as a nutritionist um, because of Fusion. and. Uh, yeah, so, any questions? How many, how many yards do you, do you deal with? So I, I would deal with 13 yards, and, and, and uh, the nice thing about Fusion is, like I said, I, when I go to a yard, I, I pull data, pull eight or 10 different reports. I can take those reports in Excel back to my office, summarize that data quite, quite quickly in Excel, and, and, and have some really nice reports, so. And do you find the, the data that you're, you're pulling from you, is it, is it pretty consistent coming in total with you, or is there, like, do you, do you have to manipulate it in any way to kind of watch it? Or? No, and, and that's what, uh, that's what's nice. The, the formatting of, of the Fusion Reports, how you have um, the columns labeled like that, it, it works great going into, like Excel pivot tables or, or statistical software or whatever. So um, the formatting and, and the reporting is, is awesome, in my opinion. So, but, but I mean, it, it, it can be cumbersome and confusing at, at first. Uh, but if that's the case, talk to Chris and, and figure out fusion reporting for sure. So, thanks.